Ron Perrin with Ron Perrin Water Technologies. Since 1997, my company has inspected and cleaned potable water storage tanks and towers. You never know what you have until you look. You may have a lot or you may have a little bit, but over time, sediment builds up in water storage tanks and you don't want to be drinking this. Today, we're inspecting this water storage tower. Municipal drinking water is stored in tanks and towers before it goes to your tap. Okay. While it getting good. Most of us drive past a water storage tower on our way to work in the morning. The average tower is about 150 foot tall. We installed a helmet cam to give you an idea of what it's like at the top. Once all the personnel are safely atop the tank, we pull up the inspection equipment. Today we're using a video ray, ROV. ROV stands for Remotely Operated Vehicle. It's controlled from the ground where we can both control the machine and record what it finds. And as it goes up, we're giving you the onboard camera view as the little robot goes all the way to the top of the tower. After the equipment's washed down with chlorine solution, it's then put into the water supply where it can move about the tank freely and perform an inspection. In this case, we're saving 750,000 gallons of fresh drinking water. The state of Texas requires tanks to be inspected once a year. The view from the ROV as it goes into the water and now we're looking at the ROV from another inspection camera. Back on board the ROV, we can see we have sediment on the floor of the tank. The sediment's completely covering the floor of the tank, a quarter to a half inch in the deepest spots. Even that much sediment can be an inviting habitat for bacteria, protozoa, and even viruses. Divers can be deployed to vacuum the tank clean. Divers are sealed in their own environment. They wear a dry suit and are washed down with a 200 parts per million chlorine solution to meet American Water Works Association standards. At this time, there are no EPA rules that require tanks to be cleaned. Many states don't even have rules requiring tanks to be inspected. We think all water storage tanks should be cleaned sediment that builds up in the bottom of virtually all water storage tanks can be a habitat for contaminants. If you think water tanks should be clean, check our poll out at ronparent.us. That's my blog. Uh, about two blogs down we have a poll and it asks the question, should the EPA require water tanks to be cleaned? Here we have a diver in a one million gallon tower. There's the water coming out of the tower. These are regulations we need for public health. And that's a wrap for this video. For more information about our company, check out our website at ronparent.com. You'll see more videos of divers cleaning tanks. And take our poll at ronparent.us. Should the EPA require tanks to be cleaned?